Now let's finish up this walnetto. Now I have a confession to make. I was not happy with my pin stitch placement. So I took everything out that I had done, moved my pin stitch, and then put it all back in again. Um, if you're ever not sure about where to place a pin stitch initially because you're not sure of where all the threads are going to be crossing, one thing you can do is to start with a long away knot, at least three to four inches. Then after you have finished your stitching and you can see where most of the threads are crossing, you can place your pin stitch at that point because uh, it, it's easier to see where to put it. Okay, now I'm ready for my last round. My ends have almost met with each other. And this last round is stitched exactly like the previous rounds. There's just one very small difference. Let's see if I can get this without catching too many threads. Okay, so now at this point, we have all the holes around the walnetto are all filled up. But my walnetto does not look complete, it looks lopsided. See, I've got something in every hole all the way around. So what I've got to do is go back. I'm going to have two stitches in the same hole and finish this up. Now my walnetto is complete. I'm going to end off with a pin stitch and I'm going to do some giant rice stitch filling stitches here. I'll come back and show you what that looks like. 